I want to show you this. We're going to be finishing the last part of this TLSO fabrication. And one of the things we want to show you is that you have a choice when you're adding on these chafes. These are all called chafes. Uh, some people call them rings, D-rings, something of that nature. These chafes go on, and that is how it's part of the, the strap uh, mechanism. You'll see more as we go. Uh, but I want to just show you real quick how we attach the chafe for the TLSO so you kind of understand the whole process a little bit more. Um, so that's what I'm going to be doing here. We're going to just add a uh, chafe to the front. They can be placed different areas. So I'm going to quickly just show you how we're going to attach the chafe here. Uh, it's our last chafe. We'll do the same with the strap as well. This is a rivet. I don't know if you can see the hole here, but we pre-drilled these holes and you just push it through, okay? Here's our chafe we're gonna add and we place it on like this. We'll put a burr right on over the top of that. So as we do that, uh, the whole thing starts to come together more. So we need a hammer, our other tool here. We're just gonna add our chafe This drives down the rivet, or excuse me, this drives down the burr, what I'm doing right now. Okay, so as you can see, it's on there. It's pretty secure, but you obviously can't leave it like that. That's gonna poke a hole in somebody's shirt, et cetera, et cetera. Just create a problem. You can see as we do with these other ones, they're ball peened. And that means that they're flattened down more and they spread out and that way it kind of, it, it becomes harder for this thing just to accidentally come off uh, a lot harder. We use copper rivets at Rinell Orthotics and Prosthetics. I believe that they're uh, maybe the most secure fastener for these uh, particular straps and chafes. So we're just gonna finish off the front here. So this is our chafe. Can't have that whole big rivet on there. Okay, so now it's shorter and now we have to do the process called ball peening. So I'm going to do that really quickly. Okay, voila, it's on there. Okay, so now we're just going to show you actually the back, the back, uh, the posterior aspect of the TLSO. We're going to show you the posterior aspect of the TLSO and how we actually attach the strap in the back. Okay, this is important um, as you deal more with bracing. You might actually run into this as a problem um, if the front piece overlaps the back. We'll just show you this quickly. If this front piece overlaps the back and these straps are not far enough back on the posterior aspect, what can happen is you always want this brace to be snug. So I'm pulling this back to make it snug, the front piece. And if it hits right underneath that rivet, it will, it'll stop being able to tighten down. So that's sometimes why an orthotist uh, will, will pull the, the strap attachments back onto the posterior aspect of the TLSO. So we're just gonna add one more strap. We, you can see there's one, two, three straps right now. We're gonna add one last one here and it will go through our new chafe that we just added right here. And you'll see it more in action as we put it on Bob and go through our fitting process. Okay, we added our rivet.